Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. Today we are, of course, the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. We're taking on Everton in the Barclays Premier League. We have 10 points so far in the Premier League this season. Uh, we've got a ways to go if we want to avoid relegation. But we've got one size fits all, as well as the John Greens. We've got the whole team out together. It's going to be great. I've got every confidence in our boys today. We just need to get a win. I'm going to talk today about uh, racism in sports, uh, which has been much in the news of late, but also uh, is, you know, has been a part, um, unfortunately, of football culture for generations. Um, and um, it's, I will say, first I'll say that it's good um, that we are having this conversation instead of just being racist, which is what happened for a lot of the history of people supporting football teams. Um, it's not just uh, race where, where um, it's an unfair ball John Green frustrated and mustachioed um, where there are uh, inappropriate and hurtful comments made between supporters of clubs about players on competing clubs and, um, and other things. And this is, this is one of my big issues. We have a big problem. People, people who like soccer need to acknowledge the size of the problem here. Um, there's a very big problem with people just being douchey about other clubs and their players and saying terrible things about them as people and, um, and then defending their own players no matter what happens. I'm a supporter of the club Liverpool. You won't hear me defend Luis Suarez. Um, I think that there's some ambiguity in whether he thought, for those of you who don't know, Luis Suarez was um, uh, found guilty of racial taunting and given an eight-game ban, uh, which he served, and then refused to shake the hand of the guy he racially taunted, Patrice Evra. I think there's a discussion to be had whether Luis Suarez was, was what he said was, or constituted in his mind at least, racism. But regardless of your perspective on that topic, not shaking Patrice Evra's hand is childish and stupid and embarrassing and um, I'm not going to defend him just because he happens to play for a club I support. Um, I'm also not going to defend Patrice Evra for, you know, I think Patrice Evra has displayed some childish immaturity at times in his career as well. So, like, you know, it, it's complicated, but what's not complicated is that it is never, ever, ever, ever okay to uh, make racial statements about players you're playing against or players who play for teams you don't support. Um, we have, you know, and the, the thing about this is that it's not, it, it, it leads to riots, like actual literal riots, and then actual literal people die over a, a game. Um, and that's, that's uh, embarrassing and not at all what, uh, what sports is supposed to be about. Generally, I mean, you see, you see this in Italian soccer. I remember watching an Italian soccer game with a friend of mine who's Italian, and he was very, became visibly upset at one point. And I said, what's, what's wrong? And he said, they're chanting, um, uh, this guy's mother had just died. One of the players' mothers had just died. And they were chanting that they were glad that this guy's mother was dead. And that's just, you know, there's never a reason for that in football. And it's not clever. Like, I think the real, you know, supporters of teams feel like, oh, we're being clever and we're being smart and we've got these funny songs and they're such great songs. If your songs are mean, they aren't funny. Uh, and that's a real, that's a real, come on, that's not a foul. That's one size fits all just doing some hugging. Come on. Dangerous free kick. Ricardo Bunsen Burner reacts late, fortunately, over the crossbar. Look at Ricardo Bunsen Burner. From the back, he looks a little bit like the caveman in the Geico commercials. Um... By the way, Swoodley Poopers have not had a good game here. Um, so the, 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 the sense that you're, being, that you're being clever or you're helping your team um, when you say cruel things about other people, all that, does is escalate, all that does is escalate the fan culture in unhealthy ways so it becomes not about, um, it's, it's not about the game and it instead becomes about um, you know, teasing and taunting, which is middle school stuff and doesn't have any place in the world of professional sports. The other thing that it does that's very unfortunate is it tells kids that this is the proper way to behave when you're in a competition, when in fact the proper way to behave when you're in a competition is to, you know, be sporting and, oh, terrible work by the Greens, be sporting and grown up about it and not be a, 
a little um, a little child. Um, I think I think some of it comes down to you know sports. Ultimately, it's about tribalism, um, and you want to be attached to your tribe, and you want your tribe to succeed, particularly at the expense of other tribes. And um, that's all fine and good, but when it Yikes! Gosh, nice ball into the middle, but all for naught. Um, Merrick, Merrick, frustrated. Frustrated. I'm going to have to make some substitution soon. So, by the way, uh, it's nil-nil for those of you who uh, just download these as audio and don't uh, actually watch the video, which there are a lot of people who do that, strangely. Um, and uh, I, I seem to have hurt an Evertonian. No, he's up. Um, we have to get past... Go, ball, John Green. Go. Go, go, he's away, he's away, he's so strong. He doesn't finish. He doesn't finish, he should have passed to his husband who would have definitely finished devastation for Swindon Town. We could have, that's it, we could have, we could have and should have won the game right there. And instead, we are facing the prospect of losing more points in the Barclays Premier League where we desperately, desperately, desperately need three points today. Um, I think three points would put us in, like, 14th or something awesome like that. Wouldn't that be amazing to be in 14th place? Ball John Green can't hold on to the ball. Time to make some substitutions. Team management. Um, yeah, so racism has no place in sports. And defending players uh, because they're on teams you support, you have to ask yourself, would you really be defending that player if he or she was not on a team you support? I'm going to go ahead and say right now that um, neither Perry Perry, Perry Perry has not had a very good game, and neither has uh, Gordon Taylor Fletcher, or as we know and love to call him, what do we call him? Um, I don't even remember what his name is. Oh, right, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, who else are we going to put in the game? Grange? Sure, I like him. So, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wasn't was Grange already in the game? I don't know. Who knows what's going on with the boys here? Um, that'll do for now. I might have to go to a 4-3-3 in a minute, but I'm not going to do it yet. And this is be a throw. All right. So, um, yes, obviously racism has no place in the game, but I think it points to something, something uh, deeper than that and more troubling than that, which is um, generally the way that people in, in sports uh, imagine... Tr Come on, that's not a foul. Ball John Green, he's a little bit gangly, but he's not a fouler. That's not, it's just not in his being. Um, so, for instance, I, you know, you're going to be biased when you're rooting for your your boys, and I get that, and I think that that's that's healthy on some level. Get it, get it to your husband. Get it to your husband. Get it to your husband. Mm, not your best work. Not your best work. Gosh, just the boys don't seem to have it today, and it's disappointing because we're we're not playing Manchester United. We're playing a game that we can win, and when we're playing games that we can win, we really need to win them because no one wants to see the Swoodley Poopers go back down to the championship, although we would, we would start winning games again at least. Um, and by the way, I have been hitting Y. Everybody's telling me not to hit Y more often. I'm hitting the crap out of Y. I'm, I'm playing much better. It's just that I'm still not playing well enough. Yes, it's it, 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 oh, John Green to other John Green, and it's, oh, what a goal in the 70th minute. And wow, other John Green pinned to the ground by an alternate suitor. What a fantastic goal. Other John Green just sneaks in. Ball John Green running for him, but then I believe he was pinned to the ground by none other. I don't know who that was. Was that Grange? I don't know. Fantastic stuff, though. And now the Swoodley Poopers are on the march. That's got to be a foul. Swoodley Poopers on the march. Coming up, French, the la 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 Lana with a cross. Oh, and it's a second goal also from other John Green. Oh, my gosh. We are going to win. get three points. Yes. Yes. 13 points in the Premier League. He used to be named John Bennett, but then he met his husband, John Green, and now he's John Green. Look, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good celebration by the boys there. That goal reminiscent of Wayne Rooney's goal um, in, uh, in a recent... Uh, Swoodley Poopers video. Uh, but yes, all of a sudden, things are turning for the better. And uh, here, even in world-class mode, the Swoodley... Come on, that's not a foul. The Swoodley Poopers are dominating. One size fits all. No, no not his best work. Um, but we can give up a goal and still win this game. Although I think, I'm sure Ricardo Bunsen-Berna would prefer the shutout. Um, Ball John Green a little bit tired. 
but he can man up. He's strong. Oh, not strong enough. So, um, yeah, but to get back to my point, the tribalism in sports is both what makes it valuable, like, um, you know, it's better to uh, root for Liverpool over Everton or Everton over Liverpool than it is to, like, you know, have an inter Liverpudlian war. Um, but it's also what makes it really problematic. And I think, you know, when we talk about sportsmanship, what we're really talking about in the broadest sense is citizenship. Uh, you have to figure out what is an appropriate way to behave as a... Oh, that was not my best throw-in. As a citizen of... Um, Yee-googe-gabooge. Timmy Cahill. He's handsome. I've always liked him. He's a soccer And he just scored against the Swoodley Poopers. It's 2-1. And uh, here in the 85th minute. And the Swoodley Poopers may have to make a decision. Specifically a decision to play keep away. One size fits all. He's big, he's small, he's also short and tall. One size fits all, one size fits all. Yep, we're not above playing some keep away, boys. Oh, we didn't keep it away effectively. Oh, no. Oh, no. We really, we really need to win this game. I'm going to feel, I basically prematurely celebrated, and I'm going to be very upset with my boys if we can't pull this one out. So, okay. All right, everything's going to be fine. That wasn't good. There's a big-time tackle from Merrick. Merrick, clear it. Yes. No. Oh, nervous moments for the Swoodley Poopers. Can we hang on? Ball, John Green has the ball. Passes wide. Yes. French, the Lana, he's fast. He's fast. Just take it to the corner. Take well. I do see your. I do see your old friend. Oh, almost needed a little bit more on the cross there. Um, anyway, that seems to be the most. That seems to be the best kind of cross in FIFA 11, which is the opposite of regular soccer. Hey, look at that! We won a game, and our opponents they smell their pits in shame. Congratulations to other John Green on his two fantastic goals here, giving the Swinnington Swoodley Poopers a 2-1 victory over Everton, our not really bitter rivals. Um, please be sportsmanlike in both winning and losing. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.